Hello, you're here with Miss Libby Rose and today's tutorial is making a patch pocket with an oversized button on it, on it and the fabric I'm using is Fat Quarters. So to get started you'll need to download the pattern. Now the pattern is uh, two pieces so you've got this larger piece which will be cut out of the fabric on the fold. So this line is the fold so you'll have one piece like that uh, of this. Now don't worry about this dashed line at the moment that says fold on it. We'll come to that in a minute. This smaller piece is on the fold again but it's to be cut out of cardboard. So again you've got one piece that folds out like that and out of cardboard. Any cardboard will do. The thicker the cardboard the easier it's going to be for you don't use paper because it won't work, it must be cardboard and um, if you haven't got any cardboard lying around then definitely a, a, um, a cereal packet or something like that would work really well as well. So when we've got that together the other materials that you'll need is you'll need your buttonhole foot and your buttonhole setting on your sewing machine and you'll need your sewing machine. Um, it's stitch ripper to open up the buttonhole. You'll need tailor's chalk, your iron is really important and some pins, scissors um, etc all your sewing bits and pieces. I also have a handy chopstick on hand because I always just have it if ever I need to poke out any little corners it's not necessary you don't have to use it but I always have it on hand just in case I want to get my corners extra sharp. So let's get started. Now if you take your uh, fat quarter piece that you've cut out you don't need that large piece of card anymore for now you might need it for reference in a bit so do keep it on hand actually and take this small piece of cardboard now you're going to fold that in so lay it nicely on top of make sure you can see um, lay it on top of the fabric on the wrong side here and I want to get it in the middle but dropped down from the top so that's what I referred to in with the dashes on the big pattern was to make sure that I drop it down so I, I have to drop this down but then leaving the same amount of gap the whole way around apart from this top that I've dropped. Now if you're unsure about getting it in the middle fold your cardboard in half, fold your fabric in half and trying to get that snug so they're both on a centre line lay them in together and then when you open it you'll know that you've got it the halfway mark. Then you go over to your iron and fold these up. So fold up your edges and press. So right in tight to that cardboard, fold your edges, press, press, press the whole way around and pressing down on this big fold at the top here as well. Okay so now you should have a lovely patch pocket looking piece with all of your bit, all of your folds at the back folded in and ironed down nice and tightly. So next I'm going to take the cardboard out and going to get it ready to put a buttonhole on the top. So that's why we've got this extra big lip at the top here. And that is to, so I've got some backing behind my buttonhole. So I take my button and I get some tailor's chalk and I try and work out where I would like the buttonhole to go so if I fold my patch pocket in half so I've got the center line and I make a mark at the top around where I want my button to go. If I place that the middle of the button where my tailor's chalk mark is and make a mark either side of the button. So now I know around about that's where I want my buttonhole to go 
and some machines have got the manual buttonhole step so you will need to be making these chalk marks to get them in place some like mine is a one step buttonhole which is super cool but i just put this here so that i can see and make sure that it's going to hit my targets for buttonhole <laughs> so get your machine all set up and sew your buttonhole in place so now i have my buttonhole all done I've got my piece, so if you get your um, t-shirt or skirt or whatever your patch pocket is going on to, and now is the time to work out exactly where you're going to place it. So mine is going on a square because this is the year of the buttonhole for us and the button, buttons and buttonholes is all about, and I'm doing a lot of work with buttons this year. So uh, I'm actually making a piece um, with, of hanging with lots of different patch pockets with fun buttons and things all over it so mine's just going on a square of fabric but yours will probably go on to a skirt or a top or something that will look quite cool and funky so i am now placing it in position and i get my tailor's chalk again and i make a mark around the patch pocket so that i remember when it's time to sew it on where exactly it's supposed to go. So I chalk all around the patch pocket and then I make a chalk mark in my buttonhole. So make sure that you've opened your buttonhole up with your stitch ripper and I make a mark in there. So if you could see that, I've chalked where I'd like it all and now I'm going to hand sew my button in place. So if you go ahead and hand sew your button in place. And now we have our button sewn in place and our patch pocket all set to go. We're going to put the button through the buttonhole and get it nicely laid in place where you left your chalk marks. So hopefully <laughs> it all just lays exactly where it should and you've got your patch pocket in place. Then get some pins and pin around because you're going to sew all the way around these edges. So pin, now you want to pin perpendicular to your stitch line so if i'm sewing this way i want my pin to be going um perpendicular really if i'm, if I'm sewing horizontally i want my pin to be vertical if i'm sewing vertically i need my pin to be horizontal this just makes it so much easier to pull out the pins as you go okay so can you see i've pinned in place now i'm going to sew down, stop, put the needle in, pivot, turn, down, stop, put the needle in, turn, turn, turn. At every corner, needle in and turn. It just makes for nice, neat edges. So nice and close to the stitch line. 